Hello everyone and welcome back to eCabinet's Tips and Tricks. Uh, today I want to show you a quick tip on how to uh, modify existing hardware that is in uh, the lightweight pools that you can download from eCabinet's website. Um, I have a, let me bring this up here, a little secretary desk that I'm working on. And um, what I want to do is I want to put a pull on this lid support right here. Okay, um, the pulls that uh, that you download uh, from eCabinet's website, um, they currently do not have one the size that I need. I would like to have one, um, for example, a half inch diameter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the part editor, the display part editor, and um, I'm going to go to load STL HSF. Um, currently I'm in the uh, lightweight pool directory or file there. Um, to find that you would go into uh, eCabinet systems, C users, documents, public documents, eCabinet systems, and scroll down here to you see hardware pools, and you click on this, and um, I'm using the lightweight pool file that I downloaded. So I'm going to scroll down here till I find the knob that I want to modify, and it would be this one right here. I'm going to click on it and click open. And as you can see, it brought it in here. I'm going to click on scale, and you can see the current width, height, and depth. I'm going to click on preserve aspect ratio, and I'm going to half inch diameter. Um, and I want it to preserve the aspect ratio. So I type in one half, I'm going to hit enter, and click OK. Now I can save this. I'm going to click on browse. I'm going to save it under import and I have a folder here called my HSS and custom pools. I'm going to click OK and I'm going to name this P5 stainless pool and click OK saying it already exists because I went through and made one up already and I'm going to click yes to replace it now we have it saved and we need to go into settings here define hardware and I'm currently in my pools uh, you may be in another area if you are you just simply click on this tab here that says pools and what I want to do is I want to add a product Okay, first I need to select a manufacturer and you can add a manufacturer or you can just select one of the existing ones. Um, I'm going to put my product code in here. I'm going to call it P5 Stainless Pool. And I'm just going to copy and paste that right there. And click OK. So, now I put that in there, I need to edit the product, and it's probably doing this because I've already done it one time. Um, I need to go to Files. Um, you probably won't see this, so I'm just going to delete that image. It's doing this because I've already done it one time, but this is what you'll probably see if you don't already have this. Um, it says current image, no image current display part, no file. So I want to change the image. And then I want to just come down here and get me a nice image that I want, which is the same one that we modified there. I'm going to click open. And I'm going to, I need the current display part. So I'm going to click on change. And I'm going to go to eCabinet systems. And I'm going to find import. Double click on that, my HSFs, and custom pools, and there's my 
0.5 stainless pool that we just modified. I'm going to click open and I'm going to click OK. So now we have our file in here and I'm going to click apply and OK. And I'll click OK again. Now we can go back into our cabinet editor and bring up our little desk here that I'm working on. Go into the door slash storefront editor. And um, this is a door that I put on here. I couldn't use a drawer front because for some reason it has a minimum size for a drawer front. Um, if you go into settings and preferences and go under defined dimensions, you'll see that. There's a minimum door width, height, maximum door height and width, but there is no minimum or maximum for door fronts. Um, evidently, there's a default in there, but I had to use a door to get it to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to go to Pools. And since this is a door, I need to go under Door Pool. I'm going to click on not set and um, it's currently got this in here man categories manufacturers and it'll bring up pools by default and there's my 0.5 stainless pool so I'm going to click on it I'm going to click select and it's asking me do I want to apply it and I guess I do now I need to install it on that little door there so I'm going to click Add locate pools and I want it centered okay from the left and centered from the top and I'm going to click OK and there you see the pool. So if I go back to main and I save my cabinet it will have it saved with that little pool on there. And there it is in the main area here. And the only thing I would have to do now is save it. So there's that quick tip. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for videos that you would like to see or anything like that, please feel free to post them or shoot me an email. And I'll be more than glad to try to help you out. Thank you again for watching and as always subscribe to my channel and have a good day.